Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We're here today with another game. I bet you can't guess what it is. Oh, good guess. Final Girl. Excellent choice with Capetto and the Carnage of the Carnival, right? Yeah, Carnage of the Carnival. So, if you want to see me set it up and pull out the box and the whole nine yards, that's at the end of the video. Click right up there. It'll take you there. I hope. If not, I'll see you in just a moment. Well, we are here. We are set up, ready to play. If you went and watched the setup, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to probably put it at 8x. So we take our first turn. And I am really concerned. Did you follow me here? Uh, Place four victims in the big top. One of them is a special victim who is your plucky younger sibling. While the sibling is in your space, you may spend uh, two to re-roll one die. And the sibling dies plus two to bloodlust. I really want to get that sibling out of there. Uh, I'm willing to just get him out. Period. Uh, yeah. I am really concerned about this bloodlust. It's going... Oh, look, he only increases by one. I like that. I didn't see that before. So I decided I'm going to play Asami. I know I rolled for the other one, but I really like this one. I want to avoid the traps. So hopefully I can get there quick sooner rather than later. We are going to focus. Ah. <sighs> Weak attack, short rest. We lose one time. Reduce by one. We are going to walk. We are going to lose one and two time and we get to walk one space. I am actually going... Oh, I only get to walk one space. Dang, Nabbit. I'm down here in the corner. That's not so bad. That gets me to do... Okay, that... That's a clown car and egg. I like the exit in the middle. That's kind of nice. I am going to move. Here. We're going to try to walk again. Hold on. Distraction is three points. I am not going to walk. I am done with my turn. I am buying distraction. I should buy sprint, but I'm going to buy distraction. And we go on ahead and killer phase. This is fun. Killer gets a minion. We'll move closer to He's gonna stay where he's at, and the killer is going to and is going to knife someone. And no, we are not going to kill my sibling right off the bat. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna go check a roll real quick on the minion. Wow. Okay, so our puppet kills someone else. That was not a happy roll to lead. Okay, and then we move to a terror card. Make or break, roll a die. You must lose. Oh my goodness. Or kill half that many victims instead. Two. I'm gonna take my chances here. Because the advantage if I do lose one more, I at least get that. So, wow. 
roll a die, you must lose health equal to half the results rounded up. Kill that many victims instead. I am not killing that many victims instead. No way. Okay, so... Panic phase! Okay, sister. Two. Uh, six. We'll run this way. The other victim. Is a six and will... Five... Six, run that way. Okay. Wow. That was a tough first round. I have a feeling this is not going to get any easier. Okay, first thing we're going to do on round number two. First thing we're going to do is distraction. We will use our other two. We will gain two time to eight. We decrease the whore level by two. So the good news is the whore level is decreased. We get a lot, bunch of cards. First of all, we get these cards back. We are going to pull another distraction. Takes us to five. We are going to Take a search, take a sprint, take a close call. Let's make sure we're under 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that was pretty quick during my turn. We move to the bad guy phase. First thing we do is... Uh, moves one, and will move one, and kill. I think I can do that. That makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah, I'm being mean. I'm taking away from the sibling. Um... Okay, terror card, terror phase. Oh goodness. We sprout a, another guy, we go to terror phase. Dear Lord, are those our friends? Oh no. Okay, move one. Everybody's going to move one. He'll move one, he'll move one, and, oh, it's the closest. I'll move there. Roll a die for each victim with or adjacent to a pu puppet. Move the victim towards the puppet. Move the victim one space in any direction. Wow. Okay, so we have this one. Well, he does a hacking first. Dark power time. Puppets now do two damage when attacking. Great! That's probably the least... I haven't read the other ones yet, because as you saw, I just opened the box. And... They move this way. Move one. Hold on. Yes, that's right. And we increase the bloodlust by two. Oh, so much facts, sibling. Okay. And we get an event card. It's for real. Place. F oh my. No. 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 No, oh my goodness. This is the first time I have maxed out the bloodlust. But oh my goodness.
Okay. In the House of Mirrors, which is... Place the Skull Token at the Forest of Horrors. Any victims moving into that... Place the Skull Token at the Forest of Horrors. Any victims at or... Oh yeah, at. Okay, there it is. Skull token. What happened to it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> and we get another event card. Oh, goodness. When this card is revealed, find the Zappo item card and put it in your backpack. Reset item decks as necessary. Okay, so I am going to take a quick break here. I'm going to go through the item cards and see if... He's in there first, and then we'll go over there. Okay, we have Zappo, the Carnival Monkey. You may use Zappo to resolve a search card from up to two spaces away from damage. If you use Zappo and an item is revealed, he flees in terror. Ignore the effects of trap and discard Zappo. So the good news is I can at least get something from here. Everybody's happy hacked. Where's the other puppet? Why is he over here? Okay. Wow. Zappo the Carnival Monkey. You may use Zappo to resolve a search from up to two spaces away. Uh, you, if you use Zappo, an item is revealed, he flees in terror, ignore the effects, and trap and discard Zappo. So it's actually a really good kind of card. This is all discarded. This is now discarded. And we do panic phase. Nobody is in the killer spot, so there's going to be no panicking. And that ends their turn. Turn number three. Good news. I don't have... Do I have a search card? Yes, I do, but I am. Okay, so the House of Horrors. If the killer is in your space, you may discard this melee and end the killer phase. Uh, kind of like that. Uh, that probably has something else, though. We are going to. Sprint. We do get three dice. We have two successes. We get to move for one time. We get to move, which will be at five. We get to move three spaces. I kind of like this. We are. Oh, hold it. We're going to move one, two, three. First thing we're going to do is, please don't have weak attack, yes. We're going to do weak attack. Double success, we get rid of the puppet. Goes to the what we'll call it area. We then go on ahead and we get to search. We're not using Zapato, so hopefully, if I understand it, you can use. You may use Zapato. So I thought I don't resolve using to resolve the search, and that's okay. We get. House of Horrors, Strongman Hammer. Good. Okay, we then want to walk. Hmm. 
No! Hold it. Yes, we definitely want to walk. Okay, wow, three successes. That's perfect. So we're going to go here. We are going to move here. Which then allows us to get, in, get three into the clown car right off the bat. I like this. This is going to be really, really good. So we get two movements. We have taken one movement. So what we're going to do, we're going to resolve, we're going to take a search card. We get to heal one health. Yay. We get to move one space, which will be back here. And then we get to move one more space, which means we take Yeah, they're all there. Both of them are there. We take them back to the clown car and get rid of them. We then reduce the terror level by two. One, two. We get one time to six. Wow. That was great. So we get to have the dark power. The dark power. Our special power. Whenever you draw at least one item card, draw an extra and choose one. You are immune to trap cards. That is exactly what I wanted. So we are going to not use our search card. So I'm going to wait on this. So we have six to purchase with. And I'm going to buy Sprint and Furious Strike. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. Perfect. Okay, that is going to be the end of my turn. This was an excellent, excellent turn. And I will buy the Sprint. And the Furious Strike. Can we have a search card? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We are fine. I feel like I say that all the time playing this game. And I feel like I'm not fine. <laughs> okay. Now we go into... They do two damage. And oh my goodness, we increase the bloodlust. We discard a terror card. This is going to get very quick very soon. I said this is the first time I've ever gotten to the top. It does look like we discard a tarot card. Wow. Okay, this is gonna get over really, really fast. Okay, number one, we spawn a puppet. That puppet moves one. This puppet is not going to move because he's there. This one goes up from what you'll call it and oh he just terror card misty ambush all victims at or adjacent to forest of horrors panic for any one the victim is killed oh my goodness five If at least one victim is killed, increase terror level, no victims are killed, resolve the next terror card. Bring her to me. The closest puppet to you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
lose one space if you are if you are okay if you were damaged by the puppet move one space closer to Capetto if you are in Capetto's space and there are no puppets in your space discard this card otherwise resolve the entire card again oh my goodness okay so he's gonna move one and again Resolve the card again. I take one damage. And I move one closer to Geppetto. Wow. Wow. Okay. The good news is no more victims died. That's the that's one positive here. They're going to die again. We are going to sprint. Okay, so we're going to start turn four with a sprint. Double success. Move, lose one time. Move. I'm thinking I should have one. Two. We're just going to flat out go after Capetto. I'm hoping this is going to work out for me. If I still have one more movement. We will do Furious Strike. Action phase ends immediately. Great. So we do two damage, reduce the horror track by one, which means our goes up to six. And turn ends immediately. So we have six. I am going to do retaliate and sprint. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have to discard a card. Or with retaliate and sprint, we buy a more expensive card. No. Yes, we will do that. We will buy critical blow. Eight, nine, ten. Or we don't take I want retaliate and sprint. I am going to discard a focus card. Okay, we go to killer phase. First of all we Sprung up a mini, uh, another puppet who will move closer to a victim and he will move closer to a victim and he will attack final girl. Oh goodness, I forgot he can do three damage. This is why I have retaliate. No, he does three damage. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, good news. I get an extra die for horror rolls. So good news is I'm going to take that and hold it because I have to retaliate. So if he does attack during this terror phase, I'm okay. Terror card. How did the tiger get loose? If there are victims on the board, no victims. Okay, otherwise, all victims panic. Wow. Okay, we are just going to start up here. We're going to work our way around. Five. Four. 
five. Four. Two. And they'll just do them in order. Two. Two. One. Last one goes here. Five. Okay. The only good thing is the puppets don't move. We go on ahead, do the following for the animal. All victims panic. He's going to move and slash one, two more slashed. He's going to lose one, two terror cards. Do the following for the animal cages. So horrors, animal cage, oh, great. Victims there are killed. Enemies take one damage. If you are there, I lose a health. There's two more terror cards. One terror card left. That was horrible. <laughs> that was worse than my good turn. Now we have the panic phase. They're going to panic again. Two. Oh, great. Moves right in. Beautiful. Beautiful. And four. To the big top. Okay, there we go. The interesting thing is my terror level is still at zero and turn five okay we still have a retaliate card we did not have to use that interestingly enough we're not going to use sprint walk we're not going to use search we're going to not use that we are going to that's it weak attack um we're going to weak attack and i have some plans Okay, we got our doubles. We do one damage. And we're going to run. I'm going to start using some meat shield. We are going to sprint because I want to move one, two, three spots. Okay, I guess I get to move two spots. One, pick up here, two. Oh, but Capetta was two spaces away. Okay, so we're going to search. We're going to reroll all dice for two. We will get rid of these two to turn one into a success. This allows us to pick two at the House of Horrors. We lose Capetto. Every time you use an action card, recover health we cover an additional health whenever you inflict damage we are staying here oh my goodness i forgot to three extra damage i forgot about that okay and we're going to put the aluminum bat on top because it's a trap underneath that so yes, we want to have the aluminum bat. Okay, good news. 
we will then block. We're not going to walk. We're going to do distraction. Now the reason for this is I'm hoping for a double success. Which we do have. Whew. I had to hold my breath there for a minute. So that's going to give us one, two, three, four time. Up to seven. That's kind of what we needed. Okay, I can go one more. I am going to short rest. Double success. And we gain two health back plus one more. So good news, we got some health. Okay, that's the end of our turn. We're not going to do anything else. Um, we can walk. Critical blow is six. So if I just do one, I can. Okay, this one's dead. I get to recover health if I rescue one more. But that's gonna put me a long ways away from everybody is the problem. I am going to do the walk. I'm gonna go ahead and do the walk. I'm okay with this. And we only have three die now. But we still get a two success. We have to move one space, two space. We do spend one time. We gain one health back. And that is the end of our turn. We get to buy for six. We get these cards back. No, we get this card back. That's it. That's it. So the good news is we're not moving. Okay. We're doing good. We are doing fine. Okay, so. Puppet spawns. We are out of puppets to spawn. Yay, lucky me. Puppet moves one closer. Yep, that's going to be the one closer. Because that's actually the closest puppet. And we go on ahead and draw the last and final terror card. I'm all wrapped up, but I can't get free. Place the rope trap token in your space. Immediately apply the trap's effect. See the trap reference card. The UN victims in your space. If a walk or a sprint was discarded. So the good news is I'm not going to increase the terror level. <laughs> rope trap. Discard one action card at random. Oh, this is going to suck. No matter which way this goes. Binka, binka, no. Focus. It's probably the best card I could have gotten rid of. At least I have, still have critical blow. Okay, rope trap goes here. If walker sprint was discarded, that's it. We are done. Next turn, we reveal the dark power, which is going to be... Puppets' movements are no longer bound. They can move anywhere with no restrictions. When moving, puppets 
may move one space more than normal. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, the good news is the puppet thing the puppets did not kill. Two three. I did not move him far enough. The pedal didn't move. That's kind of interesting. Okay, I am not moving this turn. I am basically doing nothing. I get back all my zero cost cards. That gives me what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have six to purchase with. I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Fear strike is four, guard is two. That takes us to ten cards. And not my turn. Okay, so they're going to both go. A minion is going to go after it. This one's gone. This one's gone. No more terror cards to distract. And this one then moves three closer. One, two, three. Sorry, bro. I'm not going to be able to rescue you. Not going to happen. Capetto. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four. He's going to move towards me. One, two, three. Hey, there's no more killing going on. Nothing really happens. This is kind of interesting. No tarot cards. And my turn. So first thing we're going... I don't know why I'm rolling the dice. First thing we're going to do is walk. We get to walk one, which is all I want. One time, five. We then unleash a furious strike. One, two. All I have to do is have one success and we get to, this is it. One success, that's gone. And this gets flipped over to a nothing. And then we do a critical blow. One success is all I need. Game's over. The pedo is gone. The puppets are probably puppeting around. And there's still one victim left that gets saved. If we saved, I think five. So pretty good game. This is kind of an interesting one. Very, um, how does one say? The minions add a lot into this. I'm probably gonna turn around and reset the game up and play again. Thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and have a fantastic day. And I'll see you later. Please like and subscribe.